Maca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maca here, and welcome to another Starfield video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to romance Sarah and end up in a beautiful, loving marriage. This will also unlock us an achievement called Starcrossed for gaining maximum relationship level with a companion. Now, step one to doing this is building as much affinity with Sarah as possible. You'll want to make sure she's your active companion through as much of the story as possible and make sure that you do actions and choose dialogue that she will agree with. As a reference, Sarah, as part of the constellation, likes when justice is served and she likes to resolve conflicts peacefully. She likes when you praise the constellation's work and when you are interested in exploring and researching ideas. But on the other hand, she will obviously dislike things like crime when you steal something or harm innocent people. She doesn't like to let criminals go free and she doesn't like when people work for their own personal gain. This basically means that you just want to play the game as the typical good guy. I would highly recommend using aids that help with persuasion when possible. As you level up Sarah's affinity, you'll also gain the ability to choose a flirt option, which may not always fit the situation, but when possible, choose this option, as this will help introduce the idea of a relationship to her, and the longer she spends with that thought, the more likely she is to want to pursue it. Another very important note is that during the main mission called High Price to Pay, you'll have to choose between two locations. And for this, you want to make sure that you go to Sarah's location. As you build Sarah's affinity, she'll begin opening up to you and you'll receive some dialogue about when she was once a pilot for the United Colonies military. And she'll tell you a story about how she ended up abandoning her comrades. This will end up starting a quest called In Memoriam. And when you do this quest, she'll be locked as your active companion until you do it. This is an important quest for the romance timeline, so make sure you do it when it's available. I don't want to spoil the story too much, but you'll go to a planet called Cassiopeia. At the end of the Cassiopeia part of the mission, you'll have a talk near an overlook where you want to choose the flirt and romantic options. And then that will lead to a trip to the waterfall in New Atlantis. It's very important that at the end of this conversation, you choose romance over friendship. At this point, you are in a romantic relationship. Continue to build Sarah's affinity towards you through your dialogue choices and your actions, and eventually she'll want to talk to you about family. Near the end of the family discussion, you'll have another choice to make, and here you must choose commitment, which implies that you are willing and able to marry Sarah and be with her forever. Keep traveling with Sarah and she will want to talk to you. This will eventually conclude in you receiving a mission called Commitment. If you're having trouble getting it to spawn, just waiting for a couple of days often gets it to trigger. Once ready, select the mission and go for it. Feel free to also invite Sarah's mom to the ceremony. With the Commitment mission ready to go, feel free to follow it through. This should take you to a place called Paradiso. And here, Aya will be waiting for you in order to conduct the ceremony. Just wait for Sarah to join you, start the dialogue, and make sure you choose the quite obvious options. You will now be in a beautiful unity with Sarah Morgan. This will also unveil some marriage-specific dialogue interactions you can have with her. And sleeping in the same bed also provides you with a 15% XP bonus for 24 minutes. Definitely worth doing before you turn in a big mission. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend, and I'll see you next time. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.